While agencies charge $500 per ad creative, I built an AI agent that creates psychologically optimized ads in 47 seconds, and I'm about to show you how exactly it works. I'm Aryan, I run an AI automation agency where we implement AI systems to help businesses scale beyond eight and nine figures per year. And in the, in the next eight minutes, I'm gonna walk you through this exact NADN workflow that analyzes your product using GPT Vision, runs deep psychographic research on your audience, generates 10 psychological hooks using behavioral signs, scores them for conversation, scores them for conversion potential, and then finally creates the top three as production ready ads and delivers them straight into your Google Drive and Airtable database. But first, if you want more systems like this, the elite prompts, the automation workflows I use every single day to scale businesses, hit subscribe and sign up below for the newsletter below where every week I reveal the exact AI strategies that took my agency to six figures per month where the link is in the description below and do it now while you're thinking about it. So number one, here's the exact workflow and let me show you or give you a high level overview of how the system works. As we can see, we have an Airtable base over here where the way we actually take inputs is through an Airtable form where you can come simply into the form, click into this and you will have access to this exact Airtable base and the form as well where all you do is you number one, you enter the name of the product. So, you know, in this case, for the example, the video you saw, it was one of Kylie Jenner's products, right? But you can just come here and say, for example, FC Barcelona, FC Barcelona, Jersey. You select the ad type and the social media type. And then what you're going to do is you select your target audience and the key message or offer, right? After that, you select the emotional tone. And all of these are inputs that are fed into the AI to create a really compelling copy hooks rehooks and product images where we also attach ad inspirations and pro product images so let's take a look at the edit and workflow as we can see as i mentioned before everything starts in airtable where you fill in the product name the campaign type the target audience the key offer and you find the upload the an image of the product itself and inspiration ads if you have any so now what happens next after that is as we can see we first download the image and then we do some visual analysis using GPT, of course. Where if you take a look at the prompt, it is actually pretty big and comprehensive because the entire purpose of this is to have a really comprehensive um, prompt chain where essentially here we're using GPT-4 vision to extract the colors, the composition, the brand positioning, and we do the exact same for the actual product itself. Why? Because we identify the psychological triggers that made the very initial ad inspiration successful. And this is where it actually gets really powerful, the system where we have actually using O3 mini, we create a complete psychological profile where we understand what are the core beliefs your audience holds, their deepest pain points with emotional intensity scores, dream outcomes they secretly desire, and even the villains that they blame for their problems. And this is all really compelling information that we can use to ensure that the image that is created on the other hand is not just visually engaging, but it's also scroll stopping. It catches your attention using psychological elements. So finally, what we do after that is we generate the hooks where if we take a look, we're once again using O3 mini where we now generate 10 different hooks using different frameworks before and after transformations, conspiracy or hidden truth angles, social proof testimonials, and finally fear based urgency, where if we come down, we can see these exact same ones that we have implemented over here where each one of these are actually mapped to the specific psychological triggers we identified initially. And why not? The way these prompts work are we're essentially feeding in the initial information. So what we got initially from the very form that was filled out to the image analysis to identify the psychological triggers, the color elements, right? And how now we feed that into a bigger and bigger prompt with the contextual understanding as we can see over here. And you'll have access to the entire prompt to take a look at it and really understand how it operates behind the scenes and underneath the hood. And finally, after we've generated 10 different hooks, this is what really separates it from basic AI automations or workflows. Each hook actually, if we take a look at this, <clears throat> gets scored based on the scroll stopping power or the intensity, the emotional resonance intensity. If we let's take a look at this and open it up, as we can see, the conversion probability and platform optimization as we can see, is it based on Instagram? Is it on Facebook? Is it on X, right? And this really should also show you the potential 
options and how powerful the system could really be if we choose to refine it just for one specific social media platform and train it and feed it all the information about it. But finally, what the top uh, hook scoring system does is it selects the top three hooks based on the weight scoring. And finally, as we can see, let's come uh, down over here, <clears throat> where where finally we come into the image generation side of things. And this is actually where we use a really nifty little feature where the top three hooks actually do become ads. But here's the clever part, right? If the quality check fails, where we have it over here, for instance, you know, you could imagine the product is not accurate or the text is unreadable. What we actually do is it automatically regenerates it, as we can see where it failed the quality pass with enhanced prompts. So there's no manual intervention needed in this case, where you know you would typically have someone from the creative team or someone uh, part of the business now sitting there and fixing these little issues and niggles. So there's no manual intervention needed at the end of the day. And let me show you what the actual output looks like. As we can see, you know, we have a couple more modules where we're now passing it through Google Drive. And finally, we put it into Airtable. And what the outputs actually look like, if we come over here, let's go to Data, and let's come to Add Creatives. Right, you're gonna have access to this exact Airtable base. And as we can see, this is what it created for Minimalist, which is a really popular skincare brand over here in the US. But as we can see, social proof ad, right? This is really based on social proof. Where if you come over next, then this is based on a perceived benefit, right? If you come over here, this is actually really interesting. This is a transformation ad, my journey from acne to confidence. And this is where we also do have the specific where we also do have these specific social proof labels, science backed, paraben free. And it's not just for this, if you come over here and let's give this a close, we can take a look at other images as well that we have over here. If you come over here for instance, right? And this is for Kofiza. I believe that's a brand, I, we just found it online, but this was the ad inspiration that we attached and this was the product image that we attached initially. And as we can see, we just gave it the product name, we gave it a target audience, adventurous travelers, remote workers and digital nomads, outdoor enthusiasts, key message. And finally, these are the images we created, which are really compelling, right? We give it the price, order today and get free shipping, limited offer. Really, really, it's incredible how quickly this um, technology has honestly improved itself. I remember just a couple months ago, AI ad generation and image generation was really difficult unless you were user using something like Runway ML or one of the really sophisticated image generation tools. This entire process just took 47 seconds from trigger all the way to the Google Drive and inserting the images in Airtable. And here's exactly how you can get the system as well where in the link in the description you'll find access to a Notion document where it's going to have the exact sections and the entire workflow, all 27 nodes pre-configured, the psychological framework prompts that you have access to and the setup guide over here in the Notion document. Just import this into your NADN workflow and connect your APIs as you can see. There's a complete description of the essential tools you need to make this work, the system implementation guide as we can see, right? the workflow configuration, troubleshoot and maintenance, advanced configurations and the prompt library. And this is just one system from our entire arsenal of, at this point, we worked with 70 plus businesses and created more than 100 plus automation templates, blueprints, and systems, where in my newsletter, I actually share some of the elite AI prompts that print money, context engines, and MCPs that nobody's really talking about, but have been incredibly powerful in our internal business itself in terms of operations, content creation, sales, marketing, retention, onboarding, and the exact systems scaling businesses to eight figures along with real case studies from our agency. So if you missed the link earlier, there's a link in the description where you can subscribe to the newsletter and every once in a week, once in two weeks, I'll just, you know, note down and write down some really cool information and what I've been, you know, being seen in the AI space currently. And finally, if you're a business already doing 50K plus per month and you want us to build these type of automations and systems for you, there's a link in the description to book in a call where we'll implement, customize, and train your team on how to become an AI first business, whether that be on content creation, sales, marketing, onboarding, or retention. And also, if you want more content creation with AI, there's a link over there to watch an MCP LinkedIn agent that actually has been uh, partly responsible for a significant part of my growth on LinkedIn itself and you can see how to set it up for yourself. I think it's a really, really cool system, honestly. And it really just shows you what the power of AI can be when now it's just sitting innately within Claude. You can connect to so many different automation tools, Appify actors and whatnot. So do let me know what you think about the system and comment below what products would uh, you create this ad for first. Either way, thanks for watching guys and have a good day.